Well, hey there. It's Carpo. I've been doing some thinking. Go figure. I really think we need to learn to trust each other a little more. We're living in a day and age where it's very easy to distrust everyone and assume everyone's lying to us. And to be honest, I find myself in that camp more often than I'd like to admit. But all of them are based in this simple baseline reality that we have to have in order to even survive and exist in today's world. We have to have some sort of a consensus on what exists. You ever feel like a four-way stop sign is more of just a suggestion? Well, I've probably been out on a country road somewhere and decided it's okay to exceed the speed limit a little bit. It's because we bend the rules. When you look at communities where they are tight-knit and where people know each other, even in war-torn regions and places where there's a lot of violence, you can see smiles on people's faces because they stick together in a lot of these times. I go to work, I get paid, I use that money. Or, you know, I, I meet somebody, if I hurt them, I get, you know, I have certain feelings, I get, could get in trouble for doing certain things. There's these, you know, this basic reality we all agree on, whether we really admit it or not. You know, when we talk about the problems in society, it always fascinates me that it really can be down to some very simple principles. There's so many things wrong, but... When we make the claim that we just need to follow the rules or follow the law, we have to also realize that every one of us breaks some law at some time. I, uh... Psychedelics tend to break that grasp we have on what we think is real. For a lot of people, that can be extremely frightening. If you've never let go of the things that you think are true, and you've never seen things in a different light, then it can scare the hell out of you. To don't, I refuse to let them color my viewpoint, uh, my view of life, and I just think it's unhealthy for us to sit and dwell on the negativity. We don't believe anything anymore. And uh, with good reason, you know. Uh-oh, I see flashing lights. Oh, it's an ambulance trying to get by here. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe somebody has Omicron. <laughs> If we don't, if there's anyone out there who's never broken a single law, never recorded a song off the radio, or, you know, played a movie for a big group of people, which, yes, you're supposed to have permits for that. There was even a school that was sued by Disney in California a couple years back for showing some Disney film, and they sued the school district over it. And, you know, this is... I would just say leave people to their own devices so long as they're harming nobody else. It is such a simple concept, and I know that that's oversimplifying the problems that we have in the world. But I honestly believe that if we followed that principle of leaving others alone so long as they're not physically harming us, and this is different for people who live with what you might call captive situations where they, you know, are being abused by others. But that comes down to one party being wrong, to harm or control another. And if you experience these things long ago, you may kind of forget just how impactful they could be. For example, my situation that I've taken psychedelics many times in my life, and it all started when I was much younger. And I've been responsible with them. I don't talk about them as often because I feel like it's a bit irresponsible to talk about psychedelics in a light that makes them seem like they're some kind of amazing thing everybody should try. Breaking the rules sometimes just seems a little bit ridiculous when it has nothing to do with really anything beneficial to, you know, 
it's it you have to be able to see things for what they really are so anyhow yeah omicron is a uh, from the studies that have been done so far from what i've heard my hope is that it will become the predominant strain and that it will just blow through society like a whirlwind and not harm too many people because in order for this thing to end we need to build an immunity to it and i don't think that there's any way around that i just really don't this is a one way lady what are you doing the external world can affect us i think the psychedelics allow us to see that certain things can be controlled by us by using our psyche <laughs> to control who we are and who we want to be and how we're affected by the world most importantly the things around us that we think are going to be the most important quite often tend to be the least important at any rate I'm out. That's all I got.